question 17, look at this star. It says, use a ruler to measure accurately the width of the star from P to Q. Give your answer in millimetres. If we put our ruler on there, and we try and get, you must try and get the zero lined up exactly with the P. Now you can see it's a little bit less than 12 centimetres. It doesn't quite reach 12 centimetres. Remember, if it was 12 centimetres, this would actually be 120 millimetres because there are 10 millimetres in every centimetre. But let's just make it a little bit more accurate by putting our millimetres on there. Now you can see that this is, this would be 119, or there's 120 millimetres, 119, 118, it's kind of between 118 and 119. So the exam board would probably give you either of those two. So give your answer in millimetres. Let's say it's 118 to 119 millimetres. So put either of those two in there, let's put 118 in. Now let's scroll down and see what we've got to do for the second part of the question. It says use a protractor, which is a posh word for an angle measurer, to measure angle B. So let's move the ruler out of the way. And let's bring the angle measurer in. Now the first thing you must do is you must rotate the angle measurer so that the centre of the angle measure here is on the corner of the angle that you're trying to measure as best you can, like that. Then you must rotate the angle measure so that the zero line is on one of the lines. So you could do it like that, or you could do it the other way, like that. Okay, now whichever way you do it, affects whether you use the inside scale or the outside scale. Now if you do it this way, the zero is on this line, so if you start counting you're going to go 10, 20, 30, 40 around on the outside scale. So let's count, so it's going to go there's to 10, there's to 20, and the other line's a bit more than 20. So that's going to be about, that's on about 22. So it looks like the answer is 22 degrees. But let's just say that again. So if your zero line is on this line, it's going 0, 10, 20, 22 on the outside scale. If you put your zero on the other side, like that, this time you can see 0, 10, 20 is on the inside scale. 0, 10, 20, and another 2 is still going to make 22 to there. But that's this time on the inside scale. So whether you put your line on that side and use the inside scale, or whether you put it on the other side and use the outside scale, that's up to you. But whichever way you do it, your answer is going to be 22 degrees.